graduating seniors are going to be looking for full-time jobs. A good tip for students is to just come here and be yourself and don't forget your resume. I come to them, get my name out there, throw in my resume to know what kind of, mar what kind of markets out there, what kind of jobs are available, who's hiring. Uh, overall, I feel it's pretty good to know like what to expect when I'm getting out of there and like, who is actually like looking for students like me when I get out of college. As far as what we look for in students when we when we um, come across them in career fairs, we look for people who know a little bit about our about our agency and what we do. Um, it helps if you do a little bit of research and see who are the employers that would be attending the career fair and employers that interest you at least you know know a little bit of what they do and so you, you'll have a better interaction when you do stop at our table. The fact that people are graduating is a big incentive for us. We have a couple jobs we're looking to fill right away so having someone who's available to start working you know next month or even do part-time training before then and then start full-time um, in June is Valuable. Uh, it provides us a good experience, you know, in terms of um, learning how to communicate to the future employers, uh, preparing ourselves for, uh, you know, jobs outside of school, and the building up our resume. You know, a lot of people usually don't have a resume ready, so these job fairs, you know, prompt you to, you know, got to get that resume done. And it's also really helpful because it brings all the companies to one location on campus. So I can go there and I can talk to multiple different country, companies that I'm interested in. Through in a couple resumes, I'm probably going to go back and apply to some of these internships, some of these jobs. Having someone follow up with an email reiterating why they're interested and, you know, that they really want the job or are very interested in the company um, can put you on the top of the list. Sending emails or making phone calls into employers to follow up on the resume that you may have dropped off to them. Another huge thing is just not forgetting the basics. Uh, walk up to us, shake our hand, look us in the eye, speak loudly and confidently. And yeah, know your strengths. Know, you know, you went to college for four years. You probably have a lot to offer every employer. And don't be afraid to speak up about what you do have to offer.